know me, my name is Mohammed Park. I go by the name of Park. Um, I'm the artist for Applegates.com. Um, raise your hand if you know Photoshop. Yeah. Pretty much everyone, right? Um, okay. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. I haven't done this. I've been doing that for, uh, I've been doing cons for, what, seven years now, and I kind of stopped doing the Photoshop, and they asked me to do it again, so I'm kind of rusty a little bit, but, um, I'm using a Mac, it doesn't matter what machine you use, PC, Windows, whatever, Mac, I just prefer a Mac. I also use, I have two tablets, at home I have a Cintiq, uh, it's basically a 21 inch monitor that I can actually go on. Expensive. Uh, I use this to travel with. Uh, it's an Intuos 4. It's connected by USB. And if you can't afford a Cintiq, I recommend this. Don't go with a bamboo. It's, it's not a proper tablet to, you know, do it. It's for little kids. And I'm pretty sure none of you are little kids. So I would highly recommend getting a Intuos 4. Uh, it's portable. I'll be using uh, Photoshop CS5. Uh, I have CS5 uh, loaded on this machine. At home, I use CS4. I'm not trusting CS5 that well. That's why I'm just testing on my laptop. Um, before I start, let me show you some of my, wor uh, my work, if you haven't seen my work before. So, again. He does PVP uh, online.com and he did the lineup for this and he asked me to color it. So this used a lot of textures. Uh, this was done in uh, Illustrator, so it's all vector based. So, you know, this is what I do. I'm a, you know, I don't have a life, this is what I do at home. just on the front of my ear. Just to show you how I organize some of my uh, work when I work in uh, Photoshop, I use folders and lot of, lots of layers. So this is a set piece um, the line art right here. It's uh, my character Eve. She's an android or robot built out of Mac products. Um, let me just turn on some of the layers here. Um, so the idea here is to keep everything separate. You, I mean, while you work, you might change your eyebrows to another color, so that'll be easy to do. You can just go to that layer and just change it. For example, let's let's change her uh, hair hair color. So what we do is go to hair folder. That's the hair layer. I can easily go to you know hue and separation. Everything 
separate. It doesn't matter if you have 100 layers, 100 closures, keep it separate. But at the end, I guarantee you might have to change something. <laughs> Do you work on every panel separately? Excuse me? Well, like, do you work on, do you keep one whole page together as one whole file, or do you yes. work on individual panels, or? Uh, this is just one file, but how everything is divided in layers and folders. How big does that get? Uh, this is basically um, 600 DPI, mm -hmm. uh, 11 by 17. Wow. And I believe the file is 1.6 gigs. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, just to let you know, I, I put as much RAM as I could in this machine. This actually has 8 gigs of RAM. Mm -hmm. um, um, my Mac Pro at home, which mm -hmm. only has uh, 2 gigs, can't even open this. Yeah. So if you can afford a lot of RAM, I would recommend that as well. That's very art intensive. That's amazing. Uh, it, yeah. I mean, she's gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. So, do you ready all these files for print and web, or strictly just for print? Um, <clears throat> I, mean, I, I, I go in uh, with a set of mind that one day I might do a print. Right, right. So, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Um, most of my work goes on, on the web, so what I do is I just shrink it to 72 DPI and just close it up. Mm -hmm. But one day I might produce a book or something, so I'll be ready for it. So that's one uh, artwork. Um, here's another piece I did. So cute. <laughs> um, do you guys know how to take a line art that you scan and remove the background? <laughs> you want to make sure that? Okay. Walk us through. All right. Let's say. change the, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the uh, line art to multiply. Now you can basically color and it'll just uh, feel uh, ignore the white. What multiply does is it, it, it ignores the white but it keeps all the dark One way to do it. Other way to do it is go to your channel. Uh, on a Mac, if you hit Command, uh, what's the for the PC? Yeah. Control. Just uh, click on the layer, and it'll highlight everything on the on the layer. You just go to Inverse. Now you just got the, the dark area. Go back to your layer uh, panel. Create a new layer. And just fill with any color you want. <laughs> this is why I hate CSO.
I'm working on a really tiny screen over here. If I'm doing anything with my shortcuts, if you're confused, just raise your hand and let me know. I'm used to just doing a lot of shortcuts. Back to this. All right, let me just show you the steps I've gone through to color this. So I got my line art. I did what I did is remove the background. The next step is to do solid colors. Is there stomach, uh, I mean, is her belly button in question mark intentionally? <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. Um, it's, I guess that's what I drew and I left it like that. I, didn't think I about like it. it. <laughs> yeah. Do you use a polygon lasso to lay down the flaps? Uh, for this one, um, or just the lasso tool? I use the la lasso tool. Just the lasso? You can just yeah. draw underneath the black line. Uh, basically, what it comes with. So let's say I create a new layer underneath, right? That's my pen. <coughs> so what I basically did, I took the, the lasso tool. I used the polygon tool mostly. Yeah, that's right. And I just <laughs> zoomed in. Right. Make sure the anti-alias is turned off. Do you guys know the difference between anti-alias and on and off? No? Let's say you have your anti-alias turned on. Notice there's like, like a mid color between those two colors. It's not really, it's kind, it's kind of blurred. So when you did, if you use the magic wand, you're not really selecting all those colors. You're missing that one point right there. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. You're not grabbing that. If you, uh, if you select the blue, you're missing that other point right there. It's not grabbing it. But if you turn off anti-alias, you can avoid that. So let's turn on the alias. Do it again. So now let's zoom in. Now you don't have that mid tone. selecting all that color. So that's the whole idea between anti -alias. So with anti is turned off, I basically go in, uh, if, you wanna get, uh, if you hit down the space bar, you can move around. I'm just going to do 
a really sloppy job. <laughs> you want to give me an hour to do this? <laughs> so I'll just say here. Next step, I uh, would make a copy of this, you know, just hide that. And because of I, I use anti-alias, I can easily just do this, you know, select this area, take this color, smart enough to know that, you know, I, I selected this area, but also I'm selecting this other area, but I dropped the paint in here, so it won't go beyond that point. <coughs> Just like that. Using that technique, my flat lo layer alone. Yeah. I made a copy of my flat layer. Because if, if, I, if I make a mistake, I can always go back to that and start over. solid colors than just for any regular brush painting. Go out to textures. After I create all this, what I like to do is I like to use the color balance. Basically, what it does is be create a new uh, layer. Go to color balance. You can, I don't know if you can tell, you can change, add more red to it. Or, you know, I don't know what you call that. Just play with it, you know, just have some fun with it. totally changed the whole mood of the piece, basically. Mm -hmm. 
stay with that. And at the end, something like that, a uh, gradient. And you know, just changing the, the mode of the, the layers can make a huge difference as well. So, any questions for that piece? Am I going too fast? This piece, I actually did this like two years ago for a Photoshop panel. And I go back and forth with um, drawing on a piece of paper, scanning it, and coloring it. Uh, I would go half and half. I would do that on paper, or I would just totally um, create it on, on the computer using my tablet. For this piece, I used uh, the tablet and created this. Dinosaur versus a cat, you know. <laughs> That's what my audience wanted, so I did it. So with a blue uh, paintbrush, I basically quickly uh, sketched the thing in. I really don't know what how what the dinosaur looked like though. I made it. So and they did a good job. Yeah. After that I created a new layer and I basically placed over that sketch with a, a hard edge brush. Um, the other thing I hate about CS5, they remove all the default brushes. Uh, I'm all about the default in CS4, CS3, they removed it, so I'm really not happy with that. Uh, a little tip, if you use the bracket, the square bracket, you can change the brush size. So that comes, comes in handy. So basically what it is, is just, you know, okay. Don't get frustrated if you know, you know, right now I'm just quickly drawing this and it seems to be going really smoothly. Trust me, when I first started it, I was like, you know, <laughs> it, it, it just, I was like looking down on the bottom tablet, looking up, it, 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 it gets frustrating in the beginning. So if you find yourself getting really frustrated when you're drawing on the tablet, it's normal. <laughs> just keep at it and you'll just come in. But I, I'll tell you one thing that I, I've been using this and it takes so much, I had to read we learn how to use this. So, so let's say I, for th uh, like 30 minutes I did this and I got that. Look at the cat. So let's paint this up. I actually uh, did the color palette. For this piece, I'm going to just quickly paint, paint it instead of using the, the lapel tool. Yeah. How do you get the color palette to be done? Like, what is that like a... I, I create my own on my own. Oh, so like just, just a layer. Yeah. A square marquee. Oh, you just square marquee. Yeah. Square marquee. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if that was like something... Part of the Photoshop? I wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Some people that redo their or, or reuse their parts for their regular comic, that they have some gadget, some tool, some thing that they're constantly putting into their um, into their work. They just keep it in its own file, and then they can grab the layer or whatever from those files. Uh, no, I don't do that. Okay. Um, my colors are unique for every piece I do. Um, The 
the black and white comic I do, that's only because I actually sometimes I copy and paste the, the panel. But other than that, no. I keep everything unique. <laughs> you have that highlighted and we just can't see it, right? It's like hidden? Uh, or selected? No, no, I'm actually just painting. Yeah. I already seen the lines. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, uh, practice. A lot, of practice. A lot of stay in your room and practice. Are you using the default pen that came with the camera, or is that a different style? Uh, this? Yeah. And it came with the mouse. Oh, it's uh, it's the into a score. Because I know that like the antiques and the uh, the tablets they have other like you can buy the airbrush pen. Yeah, like I thought pen. about that. Uh, then there goes my money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just we're just, just we're, we're yeah money. we're poor artists, right? <laughs> poor artists from Central. Yeah. Actually, I, I, uh, it, took, it, it took me a month uh, to raise that money to get that some tea. Uh, a lot of, lot of commission work. Do you have a regular web comic that you do? I'm sorry, I showed up late. Uh, I do a comic called Apple Geeks. Uh, it's on. Um, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Talk at Capsicon? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Actually, I will go to Capsicon. Well, then, I'm, I'm the head of webcomic department. I have to come talk to you personally. Yay! Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, me too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> By the way, I had to learn all this the hard way. <laughs> you got you got you got your easy. You can just, you know, I just play with Photoshop until I understand it. I mean, that's the, way, the best way to do it. Yeah. You had to learn it on the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sell for the tablet. The street corner. Apparently, I've been told a couple years ago I made two girls cry in the panel. What? Oh. Apparently they've been trying to learn how to use Photoshop for years and years, and here I am coming in, ah, oh, just do this and that, and voila, they're done. I'm such a jerk. I think it's actually three books, and I don't find those things in books. The thing about books is that it, 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 the books are, what do you call it, the cookie cutters? Like, they just, yeah, I know. They're you don't, you really don't learn anything from yeah. them. They're designed for, like, students and folks who are using Photoshop to actually be Right. Yeah. Exactly. And, and 
says if you want a comic, kind of tutorial, you're sort of looking at Illustrator, but Illustrator's tools are very different. Mm -hmm. Aren't there some books now on specifically doing digital comics? Uh, yeah. Um, I think it's like produced by DC and Marvel. Are yeah. they any good? Uh, Freddie French Jr. No, not Freddie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Williams. Freddie Williams does what the Marvel ones. I'm doing the DC one is pretty good. But his techniques are, like, he does different things than this. I mean, everyone has their own style technique. I'm not saying what I do is the right way to do it. It's what I learned on my own and I've been, I've been doing it for years.
go back in time, I would keep everything in black and white. Yeah, I seriously hate color. <laughs> it, 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 it's really time consuming, yeah. There you go. Yeah, exactly. light is coming from the back, so everything in front of them is um, dark. And a little shadow under here. Yeah. So tall. So I would have thought you'd keep that on a different layer. Is that all in the same way? No, it's all different layer. Take it, you went to art school? Nope. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I went to uh, Univers uh, University of Maryland for computer science. Uh, I never would have guessed that. Which uh, my parents wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it's either that or be a doctor, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or needles. You're a doctor, you just can't touch it. Nope. So. Racing some of this part right here. Little highlight. Uh, maybe this uh, teeth a little shiny. Like that. You can even go a step further, create a new layer. 
shadow Good then, yeah. between the position of inside and outside, look at the carrot area. If you're outside, you get that round. Mm -hmm. And I see it so many times in comic books on the web, it's wrong. <laughs> Don't do that. Why is round wrong? It, 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 it's so, it's it doesn't so look right. That sounds subjective to me. Yeah. Uh, point. Text. 
dinosaur saying mommy. <laughs> I can use the same layer for the speech bubble. I just go back to the speech bubble, make my oval, carrot, all I have to do is fill it in with white. How did you fix that mid strip? Yeah. What? How did the undo the lid? <laughs> that went too far. Oh! <laughs> used to be over here, <laughs> and it used to be a different icon. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, they did change it. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, no. So, okay. Did I make a new layer? Yeah, I did. So you click once, if you hold down the shift key, you make a spread. Oh.
salt coming from the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Make a new layer. Go to filter, blur, blur it out a little bit. Let's say you have this box, right? Mm -hmm. Now you create this uh, cookie mask here. Basically, you can take anything. Mm -hmm. Whatever solid color, it'll stay in that, whatever you're putting in, it will stay inside that solid color. So it's like walking in <coughs> Yeah, I do. 